Okay, well, there's my kiln. I made it from perlite and Portland cement, and I've got a cancel wire in there, and I've got it hooked up to uh, 110. I've got my little little box here, and it was hooked up to my old kiln, but I'm going to try this new one, see if it works with this perlite and um, Portland cement. I keep forgetting the name of it. Anyway, here we go. Okay, I've got my little temperature sensor in there, a thermocouple, and uh, right now it's showing uh, one degree is what I've got it programmed for. Uh, right now it shows 24 Celsius. One of our first uh, fire up Canthar wire, it uh, oxidizes so it'll smoke up the first time. So we'll see what happens here. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, I'm going to put it to... Let's say uh, 50 degrees just for fun. Okay, so. And there it goes smoking. I'm not going to breathe. And there it turns red. So far so good. Hopefully it won't pop. Doesn't look like it. And this is the first time I've gotten this brick warm, so hopefully it won't uh, explode on me. That's why I'm only getting it up to 50 degrees. But still, as hot as it is against the sides, could do it. Basically it would pop because of the steam, I guess. Uh, steam starts at 212 degrees. It's like 100 degrees Celsius. So hopefully keeping it below 50 won't, you know, won't let it turn to steam. But there again, the cancel wire gets hotter than that. It's up to 47 already. And there again, I'm trying not to breathe anything. And you can hear it candling now. which is just, just kind of like trying to keep the temperature. So, so far so good. I'm going to let it sit there for a while. And sorry about my dirty garage, y'all. Y'all just ignore that. But here, this is kind of cool. Bye. And this is what my kiln looks like, all kind of closed up. See, I've got two of my homemade fire bricks on the bottom. I've got four in the middle that I've kind of um, cut at a 45, what do you, what do you call that, uh, miter, anyway, and then there's two on top, and uh, kind of what I did was I just uh, ran it across some concrete to kind of smooth it out, so the little gap is as tight as I can make it, and I put some kind of bailing wire around the outside to kind of hold it together, which, there again, the uh, electrical connections are kind of precarious, I need to figure out something that's a little safer than that. But uh, that's what it is right now. Okay, the uh, the new kiln has been sitting there at 51 degrees Celsius. That's around 100 something um, for a little while now. Um, I thought I would go ahead and bump it up to uh, you know something higher, like maybe 90 degrees Celsius or 80 degrees Celsius, because I want to cure out this uh, fire brick. Um, I don't want to get it up to temperature just yet, because I don't want to break it, but uh, I want to try to get all the moisture out, so I'm going to kind of warm it up and just let it sit at, uh, like, I don't know, put it at 80 degrees Celsius for, I don't know, maybe a couple hours. Maybe that'll help, and then I'll just turn it off and maybe try to bring it up higher tomorrow. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if I can put it up to, nope, oh, wrong way, um, 80. And 80 watts close enough. Okay, so you can hear it kind of making its little noise. Let's uh, turn it on. And uh, I guess I can open it up and let y'all see. Okay. 
bed is warming up. Getting hot. This is 60 degrees so far Celsius. Which I don't know if y'all are good at uh, converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Uh, it's, uh, what is it? Nine fifths minus 32 degrees. So whatever that is. All right, it is at 73. Anyway, I'm gonna let that sit for a while. Talk to you later, bye. Well, I let it uh, warm up to 90 Celsius, which is what, about 180 degrees? And uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can do a firing. I put a little clay object in there to see if I can uh, fire it. And here we go. Let's see if we can do a firing. Now, of course, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do the normal firing. So I'm going to, first of all, uh, get it to... 180 to uh, get all the moisture out of the clay. This it's dry, but it should be. Uh, you should always uh, let it warm up. Well, the kiln is currently at uh, 500 Celsius, which is somewhere 900 Fahrenheit. Not quite a thousand. And you can see it's kind of orange in there. Let's see if I. Do the outside. It says it's 63 Celsius. Well, I guess that's not going to focus on that. That is about 135 Fahrenheit. Anyway, so good so far. Okay, it's just gotten up to 800 degrees now. So that's kind of cool which is whatever that is 1600 1500 I don't know in Fahrenheit um, the outside still shows a, a decent temperature I think it depends on where you point at it but you know if you point kind of near the end it shows one point near the middle it shows another so let's see point near the end it's like 100 point kind of near the middle it's like 300 so you kind of have to be um, you know kind of pointing at where where you want to measure I guess but uh, you can see the the crack is you know pretty good if you kind of get it just right you can see down in there but uh, anyway looking good so far well the little kilns up to a thousand degrees Celsius now um, it's very hot you can kind of peek in the little in there from the little crack. You can see that uh, it hasn't popped anywhere, so I guess that's good news. Some water sticking out really hot. Anyway, uh, it's up to a thousand. We're gonna try to get it up to 1077 for bisque, uh, cone 04, and then we'll turn it off. So getting close. Forgot to say that uh, the uh, kiln. It's still doing pretty good as far as temperature goes on the outside so this homemade brick is handling it okay you see it certain parts of it are maybe 150 other parts of it are 300 350 which is kind of hot um, I have to admit that but for homemade brick, it could be worse. Anyway, so far so good. Well, look, it made it to the temperature, uh, 1077, which is cone 04. It's like 1970 Fahrenheit, or uh, just up almost 2000. If I do the, uh, check the outside, and you can see just kind of going across the top. It ranges from like 90 to 200 Celsius. I run there, which uh, Fahrenheit, I guess that is, what is that, 100 and, 
75 to almost 400, 415, 190. So yeah, I probably don't want to be touching the top. Uh, kind of lost the uh, tip. There we go. So you can kind of see it's about 400, 300, depending on where you look at the top. Down to 150 on the edges. All right. So anyway, uh, and of course it's candling, so it'll go up and down a little bit. All right, so 1077, there we are, this little homemade kiln. Pretty cool. And of course, I'll let it uh, stay there. You can see how orange that is. It's pretty hot. That is hot. And there's the hole. You can see the little heat peeking out of the corner crevices. If we can find the heat and there it is there we go so 1077 little homemade kiln love it